collected. It's your girl, Spirit, your Sag. Divine Holy Spirit, ancestors of the highest right life. Please allow me to channel the energy around my collective. What messages of divine guidance? Okay, this is for somebody. The veil is going to get real thin on a situation or a person that's in your life. You're going to see them for who they really are. It's not for you to judge, but it is to enlighten you on why this person thinks or does the shit that they do. Maybe, I don't know, let's see, just know the veil going to be real thin. And, and who has the ability to do that? The Most High God. Because there's something that you need to see. It's either on a situation or a person. All right? What I just say? Who has the ability to do it? The higher power. What I say? You're about to see something. Possibly through your mind's eye. Spirit's going to allow you to see it. You might have. And how would that manifest in your life? For a lot of you, you ain't going to see it with your physical eyeballs. You're going to see it through your third eye. You might have a dream, a vision, a download. But you need to trust it. You need to trust that it's real and spirit is showing you for a reason, okay? Because maybe some of you guys are in some chaos and conflict and spirit wants you to do. And you could be thinking that this person's doing things by the book. But really, chaos and conflict. And you see how that zebra is trying to bust through? Um, let's, let's look into this. And there's a 33 on here. Somebody could be a, a master number 33. Could have something to do with your intuition with the 11 there. Let's see spirit. Some of you guys could be a Libra. I just saw that justice. No place like home. Spirit about to show you some. And I feel like maybe because you've been getting signs and symbols out there in the universe but because of your programmed thinking for a lot of you it could have been in front of your face but because of your programmed thinking maybe you thought that was the right way somebody's about to see just how dysfunctional something really was and i'm getting when it comes through you're not gonna be able to, to deny it yeah because something was fucking faded here bro somebody's been building their life on Chaos and conflict. And they thought they were doing it by the book. And then they wonder why it really don't never get anywhere or it always comes tumbling down. Okay, so whatever this is, is going to be a blessing when it comes through. I feel like you might go through a little shock period, but then there's going to be like a calm inner peace that fills your soul. Okay, so let's see what... You're not going to be able to deny what this is you're about to see. Y'all, <laughs> y'all know that thing, Unsolved Mysteries? What you are about to see is blah, 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 blah. It's just what I got in my mind, so I don't know. It could be some real supernatural shit that's about to happen to you. I just said it's going to come through your third eye. You're not going to be able to deny it, period. And You, you know, you could have met somebody who is psychic. Maybe you don't believe that person. That shit ain't real. You're about to see something like that. Unsolved mistress. Okay? And you know what I'm getting? A lot of you could have chose not to. This for somebody. Somebody may have chose not to build with a person. Because that person was psychic or something. And you just didn't believe it. Or people around you didn't believe it. But you're gonna you're gonna see let's let's get out into it baby all right spirit what's this is about to come through this person's mind eye <laughs> magician the magician has everything they need to manifest the life that they want but the magician is magic okay something supernatural is about to happen you're about to see it for yourself and you'll be like okay well either i'm crazy or what? Because I know what I saw. That what you're going to be going through. Okay, what's that? Page of Wands with the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. So I feel like whenever you get this little vision or little download or whatever this is, you're going to try to go and tell family about it. 
you are going to try to tell some family what they gonna say spirit they don't believe you to a sword i'm telling you don't even waste your time trying to convince these folk don't do it okay nine of fucking swords because these people is stubborn but this could have been you. You could have been stubborn as hell. Somebody else could have told you that they was getting these, these visions. Okay? And you don't believe them. You're gifted. You could even be trying to fight it. You could have told one person in your family, somebody you thought you was close to. And and like, uh, that's what you thought you saw. And so this nine of swords could be you um, stressing out. Thinking that you crazy. I went through that stage. I promise you guys, back in 2019, when I heard the trumpets in the sky, me and my son both, I was sitting on the couch when I first heard the trumpets in the sky. It sounded like somebody was in my front yard playing the trumpet. This was in the middle of the night. And my youngest son was in his room playing the game. I didn't even say anything. 16, uh, 616 on the phone. I didn't even say anything out loud. Like, I didn't acknowledge it. But I heard it again. My son came running out of the room. He said, Mama, did you hear that? That when I knew I was not crazy. But see, other things had been happening to me. And I did tell somebody in my family. I, I told my mom. Like, you know how it is. Every time something happens, you got to call your mama. Um, I was getting a lot of visions that it just did not make sense. I had never saw anything through my mind's eye before. Ever. And I was seeing shit clearly through my mind's eye just like I would have if I was looking at it with my physical eyes. I could not explain it. And I went through this right here. Because some people in my family said I was not seeing what I was seeing, but I knew I was. I knew I was. And like I said, when my son came out that damn room, he said, Mom, did you hear that? I said, yes. I said, let's go outside and see who it is. Because we it really sounded like somebody was in the front yard playing the trumpet. We go outside. There's nobody on the streets. There's nobody in their yards. It's clearly coming from the sky. Okay? It's clearly coming from the sky. So, I mean, I knew I wasn't crazy any damn way, but we as humans, we want somebody to validate what we got going on. And so then I started taking to Google and YouTube and all kinds of shit. I was just trying to figure out, okay, so what is this? What is this? So whatever this is you're going through, it's faded here. And you could have been living your whole life thinking that you was doing it by the book. And then spirit starts showing you something else. The, what I said at the beginning, the veil getting thin. You can see into this realm and the spiritual realm. It will drive you crazy. Because it's going to go again. This king of pentacles is a, a real stubborn energy. This is somebody who, they, they, they don't believe in the supernatural. Okay? This could be you. It's happening to you because there's some things that you was fated to do. You are someone who's chosen. You, you're you going through an awakening. Okay? I'm smelling rubbing alcohol. Okay, so anyway. So I feel like you've been building your life, thinking that you were doing things by the book according to your beliefs. Some, you start seeing some things. I feel like you told somebody in your family. This person told you you were fucking crazy. You did not see what you thought you saw. Uh, maybe you need to go see a therapist. All kind of shit. And then you start getting woke up between 3 and 6 in the morning. You continue to have these visions, dreams, and downloads. And you're like, what is it? Am I being haunted? Is somebody doing this? Somebody doing that? Am I about to die? Like, I went through a lot of questions in my life. Did y'all see my light just blink back there? I went, not this one, but the way y'all can't see it's on the other side. I went through a lot of questions because normally when I would close my eyes, if you close your eyes right now, those of you where you don't feel like you have a gift, when you close your eyes and you just see your fucking eyelids, the back of your damn eyelids, they black, right? That's how it had been. Then I start to close my eyes and I start to see these bright blues. It started to look like this. I swear to the most high God, bright blues, greens, yellows, indigos. And if my mama was right here, she would corroborate what I'm telling you. I called my mama because I thought I was going blind. I started seeing all these colors. Now, this was in 2019. Here we are, 2022. I said, mama, close your eyes, tell me what you see. She closed her eyes. She said, I see black. I see my eye. I said, I don't. 
I'm seeing all these weird, it's like the colors of the rainbow, y'all. But it was in blotches. It, it, it kind of looked like a water pain. I don't even know how to damn describe what I was going through. But I, I promised to the most high God I was going through that. And then I started to get this tingling around my forehead, just like that infinity sign is. Around the front of my forehead, y'all. It was like this little tingling. Or sometimes it would feel like a feather or something like that, y'all. I was tripping. I had always got the high pitch ringing, but I never knew what that was. But even that started started to heighten. And it all came in like after I had that car accident. And they say, because of course I started to Google and see what was going on. And they say when you have near-death experiences, okay, um, you awaken something within yourself. And it made sense when I read that because me, my son, who I mean, was all in the car, so everybody that was in that car went through an awakening everybody started to see things so i don't know y'all so yeah you tell somebody in your family they tell your ass you tripping and you start thinking you tripping and so maybe you go back to this king of pinnacle energy yeah i didn't see what i thought i saw or some shit like that now for some of you um a magician like energy could have came to you and told you this Could have been someone you was dating. Someone that you was fated to build a life with. Could have came to you. I'm just looking at these two people right here. Whoever this woman is, it's like a, a, a spirit guy. Could be someone's grandmother or something. But it's like, they was these two people were picked for each other. They were chosen to build a life together with the Ten of Pentacles. And so maybe this person started telling you, Oh my God, I got this download. Or I had this vision. Or, or I, I see spirits. I could talk to dead. This person like, what the fuck? Hell now. <laughs> and they blocked you out. Because of the mysteriousness around you. This person, I feel like this person is going to start to see something. What I say, uh, inner uh, peace is going to fill their soul. Because all of the things that your ass been telling this person about, they're going to start to see it. Something like that, man. Temperance. With the death, with the tower, and the page of cups. Oh my goodness. It's going to, this person's going to want to come to somebody and apologize. It's like, once they see this, and they know for a fact it's the truth, it immediately something ends in this person's life. Some type of disruption ha happens. But this is Archangel Michael right here, this temperance. And they're going to want to apologize to someone. Maybe somebody that they kept waiting with the three of wands. Someone that they was going to give an offer to, possibly going to be in a relationship with. But this person was very different. Hell, it could have been like this too because I'm picking it up this way. Say, for instance, this temperance energy told you that they were gifted. You, being the king of pentacles, could have told your family. And your family could have said, uh, -huh, cut that out. It's too different. So where you were going to give this person an offer, you didn't. <laughs> So it's gonna happen to you. Cause spirit is trying to let you know this is this is the right person. Something was keeping you from them, and I feel like it's the things that they could see. All right, what else, spirit? Death with that tower, that's an immediate disruption, immediate ending. Okay, three of swords with the world, the devil. Yep. <laughs> wow. Somebody thought they was building, they was living life the right way. And spirit, spirit could even show this person the ending. Something is going to be shown to them. It's going to be so undeniable. The world of fortune. It's going to change this person's beliefs forever. They can't look. There's the Empress and there's the Ace of Swords. This person really could have missed an opportunity with an Empress because this person was spiritually gifted. They were too different. Damn, that light is flickering. Y'all can't see that light over there, but it's flickering. Somebody ended with this Empress. Okay. What's that spirit? I knew it. 
I said it's somebody you're supposed to build life with. This Ten of Pentacles. This Emperor is this King of Pentacles. So it really could have been, it could have played out this way. Okay, this Emperor was going to give this Empress the Ace of Pentacles, which is an offer of commitment, right? This Empress tells this Empress something like, oh my God, I got this. I had a dream about you. Me and you was in a past life. We was doing this and doing that. This emperor's like, what the fuck is this motherfucker talking about? This motherfucker here crazy. This motherfucker here crazy. So then they go and they tell their little friends or homeboys or family, whoever they, they valued this person that they was talking to. They was telling this person like, man, I really thought I had met the one. Describing all the good qualities about the Empress. Because this is somebody who was contemplating giving you this damn Ace of Pentacles. Everything felt right on the inside of this person. It was the beliefs, okay? So then they go on over here to their family. And they tell this person, man, but it's just one thing. What is it, man? She, she sound like a good person, so what's the problem? Man, that motherfucker talking about she can see spirit. Somebody said, oh, hell no, nah, bro. You don't need to fuck with that. 1616 on the phone. Oh, hell no. Nah. So somebody blocked out all that water. Y'all know what water is symbolic to emotions. Somebody blocked it out. But this nine of swords, huh? That spirit dealing with this person. So maybe spirit starts to show this person what you said. You know, and it could have been you telling this person, oh, my God, I saw 1111. I think we're twin flames. That person like, what the hell that mean? What what is a twin flame? And maybe you go into detail and you tell this person, what's well, a it's a spiritually based connection? That means that we've been together in past lives. This emperor is like, what the fuck is she talking about? This motherfucker here crazy. She fine as hell, y'all. I'm talking about she funny, but I think she off a little bit because she's sitting up here talking about shit I ain't never seen. Type shit. Okay, but guess what? This person's about to see it. They're about to see it. The one thing that kept this person from coming towards their divine counterpart is because they was not seeing 11, 11, 2, 2, 2, 4, 4, 4. They, were, they weren't getting none of the visions and the downloads, so they didn't believe in it. They still wanted you, but they just couldn't get past that. So they missed the opportunity with that cup that's coming from the hand of the divine. Okay? So what I say, whatever this is, that spirit shows this person, immediately something else is going to end. There's going to be some destruction disruption you know what's going to end this person has been building life with the karmic because this karmic was not sitting there telling this person that they get missed from spirit none of that nope they might have had the same belief system uh you know maybe they were real traditional they grew up alike whatever but they were building what i say we saw two cards chaos and conflict and we saw by the book somebody and we saw building blocks they were building a life with someone who they thought it, they was doing it the right way. And that someone was this toxic energy right here. Okay? So somebody's going to completely end some shit once they see this. And they're going to get on the right foot. They're going to come and apologize to this person, the Five of Pentacles. They're going to be leaving somebody the fuck out in the cold here. For real. And it's going to make this person start to reevaluate what's going on. All right, so you have the Seven of Cups, Queen of Cups with the Five of Wands. Some of y'all are so damn gifted. And it's it just went against. Some of y'all could have went against what this person's mama said. Could have been a, a mother figure in their life, an aunt, a grandmama, somebody. But this person is living. And it, it went against it. But y'all are really, this is real deal. Okay. So, I want to pull some romance. Look at this person. They've been wanting to come towards you. But it's that difference. And I'm just really getting the fact that you are gifted. And you can't help. And, you know, for, for those of you who do this shit for work, because I did see the Eight of Pentacles, that person could be watching you like, man, why do they got to sit up and talk about all that crazy shit? This person know they ain't seeing no damn spirits. Why are they sitting up here saying all of that? It's making them look stupid. Okay. They would wish that you would just shut the hell up and uh, push all of that down. Then maybe you guys could have a relationship, but because you wouldn't stop talking about what you were going through, this person completely blocked it out, chose someone else, and started building life with that person. But that's about to come to a com just like, psh. yeah, this person could not keep an open mind. Let me read this card. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type 
and expectations. The difference here, someone was traditional and someone was spiritual. That's the difference, y'all. Okay? So, because this person would not free themselves, they kept dating people that they, they fit more for this person. But it fit this person's south node energy. This is somebody who's, now that they're going through this awakening, they're stepping into their north node, but they keep picking people who, when they could have already been in their north node, but they keep picking people who in their south node. And it's like, now nah, that shit right there got the union. But I'm really strongly getting this. Spirit is going to start showing this person shit like you were saying. And they ain't going to handle it short. They're going to be like, okay, she ain't tripping your healing family issues. Stay optimistic about your love life. But I say they went to some family. And somebody in that family told them, hell no. This motherfucker is. They could have even, if you said you are spiritual, you hear voices and shit. They could have told this person you was crazy. They could have told this person that you was dark and negative. Because you know a lot of people, they look at uh, tarot in a negative way. Especially them traditional people. They don't even take time to even try to get any information on it. They just rule it out and say that it's negative. It's of the devil. When they was really building with the damn devil, y'all. Look at it now. They was really building with the devil. So, there's about to be a reconciliation here. Somebody's going to go from not making the effort to making the effort. Because spirit is going to show their ass something. Like I said, spirit can show them a past life with y'all. It's going to be something undeniable that they can't, like, okay... I can't keep listening to my family, bro, because I saw the shit for myself. What else, dear? Let go of your control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Who? Who is always controlling? This person. And so because, wow, because this person did not agree with what the hell your ass was going through or saying you was going through. They're like, oh, hell no, I ain't fucking with this person. I'm not fucking with this person. This person crazy as fuck. Like, man, why she got to be on that spiritual stuff, man? She fine as hell. I like being in her energy, but I think something wrong with her head, man. <laughs> There's about to be a heart-to-heart -heart conversation because, like I said, whatever this is that spirit shows this person, they're going to know. They're going to know. And that's why something else comes to a complete end. They can't even fight it no more, try to deny that shit, none of that. It's like, psh, this is done. And somebody getting on their right path. I told you this person had a lot of passion. Like, they really wanted your ass. And something was fucking this person up. I like, hell, not these motherfuckers see spirits. Oh, hell no. Nah. She on some different shit. Let me get it. Then, <laughs> it was fear, y'all. People fear the unknown. You know, another, it's out again. Keep an open mind. So this person's out here lying to themselves. Then they go get somebody who fits the bill of what the family likes. And somebody was building with that person. And just realizing some of them could have married somebody else. Because I see honeymoon. And they're realizing, hold up. Yeah, this is the way I was brought up. And a lot of people think that they were brought up the right way. And they just choose to believe it. Because that's, that's just all I... I don't know nothing else. That's all I know. And you come... Temperance with the Empress. You coming in here talking about some spiritual stuff. Shit, I don't even know how to spell it. Okay? So now they went and got somebody who was... Who fit the bill. Oh, you go to church every Sunday? Oh, you don't believe in uh, spirits and stuff like that? Okay, cool. We straight. It's something stupid, y'all. It's something real stupid. This person put, I told you, little, let your friends help you. They did. It was either family or friends they were talking to about you. And somebody told them, hell no. It could have been as simple as, you could have told this person. Maybe you weren't telling them about you getting these dreams and downloads. Maybe you was like, oh, yeah, I use sage. Or this person could have saw your uh, chakra beads. Because this is somebody who was looking at your ass in and out. Okay? So... See that necklace that you got on, a beaded necklace? Some of you guys could have had a chakra necklace or something. And they're like, what's that? Or why you wear that thing on your head like that? Some of y'all could wear head wraps. This person's like, why you 
Why you wear it on your head like that? Why you so different? Why this and why that? Okay? And this here's another thing, y'all. This person was attracted to those differences. It was the family. You got it right here. Healing family issues. And so this is somebody who cares way too fucking much about what people think. This is how you'll know if this is your reading also. When they met you, they took you around everybody. Hey, man, what you think about the Empress? What you think about the Empress? What you think about the Empress? So they getting feedback from every fucking body. All, the five of ones is differences of opinions. They getting feedback from all these people. And, um, ooh. Okay, so for somebody, it, it wasn't even that you was telling this person that you were spiritual. They had sent somebody in. Okay, hold on, wait a minute. Let me get it. With that, let your friends help you. Somebody sent someone into your space to get information on you. We got to look at that, y'all. Ooh, we got to look at that. And so when they reported back to this person, they was like, hell no. Nah. She sees spirits? Oh, hell no. Nah. But let's see. Let's see. Okay, spirit. Well, just let your friends help you. They done sent somebody in on the Empress. Could have been a Virgo. Okay. But they sent this person in with the information. And y'all know people have their ulterior motives. And maybe they didn't have anything to do with you being spiritual. It's the simple fact that they let somebody help them. You never know. Maybe that person, maybe that person didn't like you because you went against their fucking beliefs. You just never know. And if it was this Queen of Cups that they let help them, cast Scorpio Pisces. Right off the rip. This is all four queens of the day. Okay, so there could have been like competition. Is that not what the five of wands is? So this Queen of Cups could have viewed this emphasis as competition. And so they say, well, oh, I can get some information on. It. They could have befriended you. Let's see, child. Let's see what they did. Spirit, they let their friends help them. What happened? They regret the fuck out of it. Hello? They regret the fuck out. Let them friends help their ass. Could have been a counselor. Huh? Counselor could have been a family member, friend, family or foe. I don't fucking know. Could have been a Scorpio. But they regret the fuck out their situation. For most of y'all, it was family. Could have been a family and a friend. Could have been a Gemini. It could have been a few. Because like I said, this is somebody who took you around people. What y'all think about the Empress? What you think about the Empress? You see that thing on her head? I don't know why she wear that head wrapped like that. But what you think about the Empress? Motherfucker, what you think about the damn Empress? With your crazy ass. This person saw you as the absolute fucking truth. But because they let their friends help them. And that's why the regret is here. Okay, what was the friends trying to do, spirit? Ace of Wands with the Knight of Pentacles. These motherfuckers was trying to slow down this brand new beginning that was given to them again from the hand of the divine. The Ace of Wands is a passionate new beginning. And this Ace of Wands is coming from spirit. Just like that cup was coming from spirit. That Ace of Pentacles was coming from spirit. Okay, what else did these family and friends try to do? Spirit, since we talking about it. Huh? Oh, Ten of Wands? Make life hard as fuck for this person? Oh, could have been a Gemini, could have been a two. I said a two of pentacles. So it could have been a Gemini that had this person going back and forth in their head. Could have been a sibling. Somebody sent someone in on you. I swear to the most high God, bro. This person could have came into your space acting like they was trying to be your friend. They was trying to get information. Somebody was taking everything that you said, four of pentacles. They were taking everything that you said and they would go right back and tell this emperor. Oh, what she said about that? What? She said she saw a ghost laying. Oh, hell no. This motherfucker crazy. Oh, look. Now, look. I just saw the hierophant. It's, I'm telling you, it's something about fucking beliefs here. This motherfucker had a whole family observing your ass. But their family is like this, real traditional. You already showed up as the damn temperance and the empress. Okay? This is a spiritual connection. These motherfuckers on the surface level, they not going to understand it. They not gonna understand it, bro. So let's keep going. I stay bad. What else did they do? This person could literally have their whole family watching you. They trying to get information. Oh yeah, she live at the such and such. She work over there at the such and such. 
Keep an eye on it. Tell me what you think. Oh, yeah, she live down there on 3rd Street. Go by there and tell me what you see. Oh, yeah, she go over and get her nails done over here on the 5th Avenue. Go over there on Friday at 3 o'clock. Tell me what you see. What the fuck is going on? For some of y'all, this person had multiple people reporting back to them. Some of them motherfuckers could have came together. Don't let me see the Three of Pentacles. Because I'm going to cut your person the fuck out. Hold up, wait a minute. What that was that fail? Oh, another big ass ace of cups. Let me tell you now. Everything that these people had done came back and told this person, it went against what they felt. They really did see you as the truth. They saw you as the one. That's why they were telling everybody. What did the car say? Oh, right here. They saw you as the one. They did for themselves. Okay? That's why the regret is here. It's like, well, I see this person as the one, but I need to get my family's approval. Family is real traditional, okay? They don't even know why you got this thing on your head, why you wearing them chakra beads. They could have saw your ass meditating. Whoever it is that they sent in your energy, you could have been telling this person about it. Okay, for some of you, it could have been a sister with this queen of swords. Somebody could have felt threatened. They could have just been jealous of you just for the fuck of it. Okay? So anyway, it was something about you, what you did, how you lived your life. Something that was very different from how these people grew up. And a lot of y'all just didn't know this person had their family watching the fuck out you and reporting back to them. What else, spirit? What else did these people tell this person? Yep, Queen of Cups in the fucking reverse. What I said, I said this Queen of Cups right here could have saw this Empress as competition. So she show up as the Queen of Cups in the upright to the Emperor, but she really ain't fucking reverse. So she jealous. This could have been somebody who was fucking codependent. All kind of shit. And they telling this person. And they, they listen. They listen like boo-boo the fucking fool, okay? Which is why they big-footed ass is sitting right here in regret. And then for spirit to come in, I just heard years later, okay? That's for somebody. I just heard it just like that. So for spirit to come in years later and show this person some shit about who? You and them. That this was fate. It was destiny. So for those of you where you started going through awakening, you started seeing 11, 11, 2, 2, 2, and you was telling this person that, they themselves started seeing this shit. For others of you, I feel like you was telling whoever this Queen of Cups is. This could have been, because this is somebody that you was talking to on the daily, but they was reporting back to this emperor. Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. This woman could have been young or old, whoever the fuck it was. And, it, and for some of y'all, it could have been a man. Yes, they was reporting back. They was getting information on your ass and going right back. Eight of Cups, right behind your back, going over here and telling this damn emperor. But this is somebody who was jealous of you. Three of Swords. This person was bitter as fuck. And they felt like, for a, for a lot of you, with this let your friends help you, this person was your friend. This was your so-called friend. And the emperor, instead of coming to you, they went to your so-called friend and got information on you. Nine of Pentacles. What else, spirit? King of fucking cups to the empress. What did I say, y'all? But they held back. Oh, my God. I don't know who this friend was. Could have been a mutual friend. Both of y'all could have knew this person. But this is how they felt for you. King of Cups to the Empress. Like I already said, somebody knew you wasn't true. But they let these other motherfuckers. So then somebody tells them some shit. And then they say, okay. They start to pull back a little bit. And then they had your fa their family watching you for ain't, I don't know how long. They had your, their family watching you. Making up their mind about you. It's like, damn, you can't make up your own mind. You don't know how you feel? I do. I know how I feel. I like the Empress. I love the Empress. But I didn't know how everybody else feel. Why? Is the Empress going to be with everybody else? Is the Empress going to make a life with everybody else? Like, what the fuck is going on? Somebody, this King of Pentacles was just too worried about how everybody else thought of them. 
they have to be looked in, like in a certain light. They only, of course, the Empress only gonna want the best around them, but the, the fuck, the Empress is the best. So you dumb yourself down, you block out the Empress, and you pair yourself up with a double energy that these motherfuckers agree with, could have been this Queen of Cups. Because she's showing up, you know, showing herself to be in the upright for these family and this emperor. But this is really a motherfucker in reverse. Who was jealous of you? I hope this motherfucker. For some of you, this... Mm, I hate that. For those of you, what this damn so-called friend wanted this emperor. Yeah, y'all gonna find out something. It might piss y'all off. It just really might piss y'all off. Find out that this friend did this shit behind your back because they wanted this person. Or it might piss this emperor off. It don't matter. Spirit is going to show this person something. And something's going to come to a complete end. Because they're going to realize what they do, that what they were doing that they thought was by the book is absolutely not. It's been keeping their ass bound. And it's been keeping this person in a toxic situation. And all this person ever had to do was listen to their intuitive feelings because they knew the truth. This is what I don't understand. How is it that you know the truth about somebody, but you allow, because we saw the fucking page of swords, that's gossip from a queen of cups in reverse type of individual. This person could have been any fucking sign, but they were somebody who was in their emotions. This is a real envious motherfucker with the knight of swords. This could have been a man, woman, chick, or child, whoever the fuck it was. How you know the truth about somebody, but you let an outside motherfucker come in and change your perception? How? I don't get it. Cause they tell in spirit say that the damn truth. How you let that? How you let that happen, bro? Huh? I just told you somebody was jealous. How the fuck do you let that happen? So they don't. Maybe they don't think this person's jealous of you because they see you with this person all the time, even after this person. Then told him all this bullshit. So the emperor betrayed you. Fuck the damn friend. The emperor betrayed you because they knew that this person was telling them shit. It's like they would get together and talk about you. Did you know that bitch was spiritual? Did you know there was some damn chakra beads around? Man, I went over her house. That the motherfucker was so cloudy. I asked, I said, Empress, what you doing? Oh, I'm just sage in the house getting rid of. Somebody was really coming. They were coming together. And they was letting this motherfucker talk about you. They, ooh, we child. This emperor need they add woo. Magician, sell my cup, somebody lie. I told y'all I didn't want to see that three of pentacles. Motherfuckers came together to work against y'all. And this is somebody who had multiple people watching you. <laughs> oh my God. Listen, emperor, get your big footed ass off my damn board. You can't even think for yourself. You can't even think for yourself. Well, I know the truth, but she ain't never did that in my face. Oh, they said she was a hoe, but she don't act like that around me. Oh, well, they said she was doing this and that, but I ain't never seen her do that. Well, I guess they telling the truth. They been knowing her longer than I have. Why the fuck you just couldn't just come to the Empress and ask the Empress your damn self with your foolish ass? So then this person starts... Yes, yeah, five and ones with the ten of swords. So then this person started getting their pride and ego, start trying to act all cold and distant like they didn't give a damn, but that was a lie because we already saw the damn ace of cups. Okay, so they really wanted to come towards you, but they couldn't. They blocked you out. And so for a lot of you, when you didn't chase this motherfucker because I saw the tempers again, you started to balance your energy. Some of y'all got better, got greater. And this person salty as fuck because him... Whoever that Queen of Cups in reverse is and all these fucking family members are seeing your ass blow the fuck up. And Spirit say, that's the damn truth. They mad at their damn self. The person mad at their damn self. We so stable and solid. And they over here like this. Listening to people who really didn't give a damn about it. Everything that was told to this person was a fucking lie. Because it was out of jealousy. And even if this, this person would bring in some truth, because the page of swords holds the sword of truth. But they be gossiping and they be switching shit around. And somebody was doing this shit out of fucking jealousy, bro. It's just weird. Motherfuckers came together. And this big goofy motherfucker listened to him. Child, you deserve to feel what you feel. And I'm telling y'all, it's strongly something here about you guys being spiritual and these people being more traditional. And so... And for those of you where that's the case, they knew this emperor is somebody who 
They react on gossip. They just always been childish like that. And so whoever these friends and family members are, they know this emperor in and out. It's like back in the day when I was in middle school, my so-called friends, if they wanted to see some action, they said, well, all we got to do is tell Ebony that uh, old girl was talking about it. We know Ebony gonna go over there and, you know, say something. Me in the fucking middle school, I didn't understand that that's what these motherfuckers was doing, but they knew me. All I had to do was hear of some shit, page of swords with the eight of wands right here. All I had to do was hear some shit. And I was going to run with it. That's exactly what this emperor did. And they knew that this emperor was going to do that. They heard some shit, like I said, that was fucking lies. And it came from somebody who was bitter and fucking jealous. And your person ran with it. They start getting all in their pride and ego. They start judging you. Because ain't no telling what this person said about you. It was all lies. Seven of swords with the seven of cups. It was all fucking lies. Okay? And they could have turned, like, say, for instance, if it was because you were spiritual, they could have turned it around and said you was a witch, a bad witch. You do spells on people. Somebody, like, deliberately lied. And when this person was in your energy, they knew that shit not to be. They knew who you really was. But they went with the majority. And that was the fucking majority. Emperor, you need your ass whooped. You need your ass whooped. And a lot of them went with this person... And started trying to build life. Because we saw, I said, damn. This person started building life, this person. And this is chaos and conflict. The devil is the author of confusion. Somebody was really confused as to who was the right one. But I don't know how. The only time you get confused is when you go outside of yourself. Because everything that you need is within yourself. Which is why spirit is showing this person some shit that they can't deny. Spirit had already told them. That you was the one. They already knew this. I tell people, this is when you fuck up in life. When you go against your intuition. Somebody went outside of themselves, had family, friends, co-workers, all kind of motherfuckers watching you. Everybody coming back, telling them what they want to say. But maybe a few of them motherfuckers linked up with that three of pentacles. Hey, yeah, I know the emperor uh, called himself liking that empress over there. So this what we going to do. Help me with this paperwork right here. We finna fuck it up. We gonna fuck it up. Seven of swords. And they even say, oh yeah, he's stupid. He'll file for it. Somebody knew they was hurting this emperor. They didn't give a damn. And the emperor fell right forward. <coughs> I don't know what this is that spirit shown. But it's gonna make them come about this devil. Could show it could show the emperor how they surrounded by low low vibrational energy. The spirit could also show them how these motherfuckers got together and deliberately did this shit against the empress and against them. This is betrayal. That could also what uh, be what spirit is showing this person. Some gonna come to an end, and then this person gonna come towards you. Uh, and try to have justice in the situation, and that's what spirit is guiding them to do. Like spirit was guiding them. From the fucking beginning. To make the effort. But they chose to miss the opportunity. For a lot of you it's because of your spirituality. For others it's because what a jealous motherfucker said. It don't matter what it was. They knew it not to be true. They knew that shit not to be true. Okay. Queen of Swords. Moon. Okay. So for some of you. You got a Pisces or an Aquarius. That could have been in this person's family. That was jealous. Somebody was jealous of where you worked. I just saw that down. Ten of Pentacles. It's like they were jealous because you were stable and they weren't. Somebody could have a, a, a sister or a family member. They don't have none of their fucking kids. Or something like that. Like the state done took all their damn kids. This motherfucker be in and out of jail. They could be older than you, but their life is stuck and stagnant. And like I said, all of them people who had a hand... And trying to make you out to be the bad person. All the motherfuckers see your ass glowing the fuck up. And see spirit do shit in a way where everybody can see. It. Even people who don't even. It's safe for instance your ass on YouTube. These people don't ever watch YouTube. Spirit. Oh listen now. Spirit will do it. It'll make it happen won't it. Everybody who had a hand in this shit. They see your ass. Shining. That's what spirit wanted them to do. And they all like this right here. And that's the judgment 
in the situation. All them motherfuckers po broke and hungry, and you over here shining because you was done wrong unnecessarily, and this person gonna come in and try to apologize to you. I would accept their apology. What you gonna hold on to the negativity for? You knew who you was. Your energy never changed. You never showed up as nothing else but the damn empress. Okay? You never showed up as nothing else. People could have also told this person with that Queen of Cups in reverse that you was clingy, that you only wanted them for your money. What? Talk to them, spirit. Whatever the fuck it was, it was a fucking lie. You make your own money. The most high God take care of you. You don't need no man to take care of you. Uh, you in complete wish fulfillment. And this person is like, why the fuck did I listen to these people? Cause you stupid. Like I said, that is when we fuck up in life and we go outside of ourselves seeking validation. Because nine times out of ten, you only going to get validation from this energy. When you go outside of yourself, oh, well, what you think about this and, that and about that, the devil be right there. And sometimes this devil, they need a body. The devil needs a human to work through. So a lot of times the devil be coming through people who closest to you. So in one of his little friends, the devil done creep through. With this, let your friends help you. Then creep through and told this person, showed this person some bullshit. Y'all remember that last reading that I did? I said some shit was Photoshop. It was fake. Baby. And you shining bright on that. And he the one looking stupid. He was supposed to be right there with you. Like, damn, how you let these people play you out your destiny? I ain't making it up. What the cards say? Fates. The fates. They supposed to be a star shining right there with you. 17 break down to an 8. You are living a very abundant ass life. And this person over there struggling with these folk. And they all see you. They all see you. And so let me tell you how tricky the devil is too. The devil will make you miss an opportunity. And then that same devil will get in your ear. So these some of these friends could be out in this emperor ear after they see you over there glowing up. They could be in this emperor ear like, man, I know you miss that damn empress, don't you? And they was the main ones that they were listening to. Like, damn, bro, you should have chosen the Empress. Why you didn't choose the Empress? And he mad and shit like, bro, you the one told me not to choose him. And they were like, well, damn, bro, I didn't think you were going to listen to me. Like, somebody is extra S-L-O-W. They is extra slow. They let a passionate ass, good, con like the one. They let the one go and got with the damn karmic because he fit the family. Yeah, people don't be saying sometimes your own fucking family be putting you in fucked up situations because they don't want to see you prosper. They don't want to see you blow up. That's exactly what the six of ones is. Victory and success. So they'll tell you, oh no, man, don't fuck with the empress. That motherfucker toxic. Go over there and fuck with the devil. Oh yeah, that motherfucker bad, boy. That motherfucker suck a mean dick. But they be telling you all kind of shit. And you jump right on it. Okay? So empress, baby. You got an emperor somewhere like this on your head. And you was like so unbothered <laughs> by the situation. You was unbothered when the motherfuckers was gossiping. They thought they were doing something. And so Spirit's like, all right, I'm going to show y'all. And they've been trying to show this person. And something came through. They're going to tell you what that nine of, of swords was. Yeah, it's this emperor that's holding on looking like boo-boo the fool. But spirit is going to show them something. And they're going to come in. When they apologize, they're going to come in and tell you. Like I said, it could have been the fact that you they're starting to see what you were seeing. Or it could be the fact that spirit shows them how people around them betrayed them. Whatever it is, is going to be undeniable. It's going to cause an immediate end to some toxicity. And they're going to want to come and apologize. And all of this could have been avoided if they had to listen to themselves. Yeah, they're going to set the flat on it. For some of you, where y'all did that little glow up, this person, I told you, the same friends telling that person, hey, man, why you ain't choose the Empress, man? This motherfucker. <laughs> A lot of them could have walked around in that night of that King of Swords. Acting like your glow up didn't matter. You a damn lie. Cause you knew all of that shit these people was telling you. You knew when you made that decision to block this person out that you were fucking up. You knew it. You knew it. This, this somebody had a bunch of people around them that mean them no damn good. Family and friends. Some motherfuckers that mean this person no good. 
For some of you, it could have went a little deeper. This person could have tried to use people to make you jealous and shit. Uh-huh, with that three of pentacles, and he was just too unbothered. By him and any queen that he brought in your fucking face, because you the empress. Again, the empress is all four queens of the day. Okay, so they just made that self look even more stupid. by trying. How, you, there's nothing. There's literally no one out there that could compare to an empress. So he would make himself look stupid bringing in Knight of Wands, Queen of Swords type energy. Like, who is that? It don't compare. So, baby, what are you doing? At this point, your ass is better off going somewhere and just shutting the hell up. Okay? So get ready, spirit. I mean, collective, I said spirit. Hold on, y'all. Let me get y'all one of these. And then I'm going to let y'all go. Yep, listen to your intuitive feelings and ear shock. I'm telling you, the spirit is going to show this person something. It says, notice the messages that appear as sound, music, and words from both external sources and within your mind. These, mes these messages are real answers to your prayers. This person could be dreaming about your ass at night. Something going to come through. It's going to be undeniable. I told y'all for a lot of you, this is the reason. Because you were spiritual, you was gifted, you are a powerful light worker. And that went against the hive and it went against their tradition. Ooh, it says it's safe for you to be powerful. Your spiritual power brings great blessings and loving service to the divine. Remember at the beginning I was saying this person was like, man, why she always got to be on that spiritual stuff? Me and her could just be cool if she stopped doing that spiritual shit. What? Baby, that's what you would put her to do. Somebody is starting to see just how that hierophant is really toxic. That belief system that they had was toxic as hell. Okay? Integrity. Because people went against their integrity to go against the empress and that emperor. So now they're having to reevaluate and align their actions so they match their values and inner knowings of what's right for them. Because with that ace of swords, they knew you was the one. But they let another motherfucker, outside source, come in. The devil got in this person's ear and said whatever the fuck they said. They regret it. And y'all shine, man. That's how God has a way of doing things, okay? I love y'all from the bottom of my feet. Till next time. Bye.